PC. Mm, casual. That's a good tag. Finally, a good tag. I thought I'd go find a good tag. Jesus. I like that. That's an improvement. <laughs> Go, baby. Oh, I, I hit it right now. What? Oh, I've been on. <laughs> this is the best thing. Um, all right, let's go. What the? It's one of the, one of the funniest things I've done. 50 seconds into stream. Golly, I be damn. Oh, shit. How do I do this? I don't, I don't want the I don't want the information up there. I don't mind this. Whatever is happening right now. Optimizing. Well, on top left, it will do, like, frames and whatnot, and I don't know, it's just, I don't care. I guess it's nice to have it, <clears throat> but I want to know how I got it. But anyway, welcome to the stream. Hello. Oh, shit. Yo. What, what up? <laughs> I thought you were saying welcome to me. Oh, nice. No, I didn't see you join. Oh, your, sorry, your thing doesn't do the, the sound when someone it pops in? Usually, oh no, it doesn't, I guess, no. I didn't realize you joined the party. I just joined, so. Noise. How's the, Wait. how's the meeting? I was tutoring. Oh, nice. It took longer than expected. Alright. But I gave her some homework and sent her on her way. What is what kind of homework? Uh, she showed me some painting or some digital art pieces that she was really into, and she really liked the painting style. So I was like, all right, um, since you overthink things, let's come up with a sketch that you don't care about. That way, you don't overthink how to make it look perfect, and you don't care about it. That way, you can just kind of like let loose and just practice. Hmm, that's cool. Um... What are you streaming? Smite. I just started again. I was streaming and the connection was not stable, so I restarted. And at the same time, I messaged you. But I saw you go idle as well. I, 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 I stepped away to go potty. So. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's run through some games. Well, I mean, we have a few options, actually. I can play and we can chat, I guess. You'll be on the stream. Don't worry, not a whole lot of people watch, so... <clears throat> well, like, if you're not okay with that, I can just hop out until you're done. That's fine. I don't want to ruin your stream. Um... No, that's cool. And then uh, option, another option is that we look at games and whatnot that we can play, at least. Well, let me check my email real quick. Are you on Steam and uh, Epic... I, I don't do epic. Um, what, you're the like, second person today? Yeah, they got verified to have like Chinese spyware, so I said I'm not going to do that to my computer that I just built. What? Yeah. They have spyware? Yeah. What? How does it work? What do you know? Uh, there was a whole thing about it on YouTube at one point. Let me see if I can find an article. That's not good. Are you still looking for that? 
I'm reading it just to make sure like something didn't get cleared up or changed or like that it still is what I was informed that it was. I should probably look it up too. Why am I? I have a phone right in front of me. So I was told this like a while back. So I want to make sure like did it get changed? Did it get fixed? Is it like? It's epic safe. That's what I typed. Uh. There's a thing from October 27th, 2021 that says date is fine and it's no prowling. There's a question on Cora. Cora. Uh, okay, so they said um, that Epic is 40 to 48% owned by Tencent, a large Chinese firm, tech firm who heavily spies on Chinese citizens with collaborating uh, with Chinese government. Tencent is just a giant company. I play like their um, mobile phone too. I mean, Does the Epic store still sell information to China? Kind of made peace with all that, though I I use a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You know, thing. I'll be fine. Yeah. I don't want to install like more crap either, because I'm already iffy about installing Origin, but I need it to run certain games that I've had for a while. For Assassin's Steam, Creed. So. No, uh, Dead Space, uh, Titanfall, and then what else do I have? Which Dead Space? All of them. Oh shit! Nice. I'm a huge fan of the Dead Space franchise, and I'm super excited that it's getting remade. But I'm even more excited um, that the original devs, um, that a um, what is it? A trailer got announced for Callisto Protocol. Well, I mean, it was announced a while back, but they um, they recently put it out during the um the sony was it the playstation stream or whatever yeah that was like a couple of days ago like my my brain is really yeah Shit, Shit mommy in wait What's up? I'm trying to think what I was thinking about. <laughs> trying to remember it. Yeah, no thoughts. No recollection. You don't have you don't have a uh, infinite. Oh, we're talking about freaking... I was going to ask you about Resident Evil. Because we're talking about... Um, the other game. Shit. Oh, um... Dead Space. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched that, like... I, I played that backseat. Because my younger, younger brother beat all of them. He was just hog. I'm the only child, so I don't have to share. Mm. Yep... <laughs> But yeah, I, I have one of them now that I haven't installed yet. Which one? Mm. Only the, um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, only the uh, third one is co-op, but there is multiplayer within the uh, second. But I don't know if that server's still going. It's not, probably. No, that sucks. I got I got one and two. Three is uh it's less scary, more of a uh, <clears throat> action adventure with a lot of jump scares, but the DLC I will say is actually more terrifying than the than the base game itself. 
the thing that pisses me off the most is it ended on such a fucking cliffhanger. And Which one are they remaking? Sorry to interrupt. The first one. Okay. My favorite. Yeah. The first one is the one that, like, you know, obviously is, like, so different than anything else stood out. My brother said that the third one, yeah, was, like, too easy. He didn't even speak in the first one. So, the first one was more about immersion. Um, since Isaac himself does not really talk, it, it does a better... The game itself does a better job of making you feel like you are Isaac. Um, he doesn't even have... Like, so, if you pan the camera around when the ship first crashes into Ishimura, you can see Isaac, but not a lot of people do. They're kind of just waiting until they can access, like... Uh, character movement not camera movement uh -huh. so you don't really see isaac's face until the very very end if you didn't pan the camera out during the initial crash into the ship uh. but so he's got no face he's got no personality he's got no voice it is essentially the player it's themselves yeah and then by the second one there's actually a story which makes it less terrifying but um the actual terrifying part of the game was when you go back through the Ishimura and you kind of have a trip down memory lane and that's kind of like if um, if like nom flashbacks were in a game that's that's what that would be what flashbacks uh, Vietnam flashbacks oh Vietnam yeah like if you start to remember the ship, and it's actually more terrifying than the uh, than the rest of Dead Space Two. Hmm. And then the DLC in three is more terrifying than the base game of three, because the enemies are different. Um, do you care if I spoil some of it, or? No, that's fine. I mean, I've seen him. I've watched my brother play. Okay. Um, in Dead Space Three. Um, the unitologists that are kind of like left over after the whole ordeal happens start forming a um like form a, another cult like a new cult where they sever their own hands and then they use like metal um metal structures and stuff in place of their hands but it's more psychological in the way that they attack you and fuck with you so it's am i allowed to cuss by the way my bad yeah you are okay cool uh, yeah, so no, it's, it's more of a mental thing than an actual thing, but it does, so basically, like, if you die during, like, a psychological attack, you die in the game. What? And, mm -hmm. yeah, so in three, uh, there's, a, like, a, so there's this really cool feature to the co-op part of it, um, let's say I'm you playing Carver. You play co-op in three? Like, yeah. off -scene? Yeah, no, yeah. What? But what you're, like, so here's the fun thing, right? So Carver, who is the co-op character, uh, fun fact, uh, watching the video about how that happened, um, his original name was uh, Coop, Cooper because it was short for co-op and mm. they didn't actually know what to name him yet. The final product was Carver, but a lot of the dev team still calls him Cooper. Uh, so Carver has his own trauma that comes from dealing with Discount Elfie John, who is your main antagonist throughout the game. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Arthur Danik. So, he lost his wife and kid to Danik. So, he's over, he's still dealing with his grief. He's not really, like, um, actually facing and stuff. So, as you start proceeding through the planet, he starts to see things that you, as the main character, cannot see. So, like, as you're going through his side quests and stuff, he sees like nutcrackers, toy soldiers, birthday cakes, um, gifts and streamers everywhere. All these things that are associated with his son who passed away that you can't see. And then at one point during one of the side quests, um, Isaac turns to Carver and says, hey, are we going to get out of this elevator? We've been standing here for five minutes. And that is after we finish... Um, going through the entire side quest come to find out when we come back up the elevator that we went down in the reality was we were just standing there this whole time and that adventure never happened what <laughs> it's it's really cool so the game um, has like a lot of trippy 
stuff on top of the aliens? I didn't even... Yeah, so, like, as you're get So, like, as Carver is going through his side quest, at some point, like, he's mentally fighting the marker. And so he's seeing, like, this... Like, he's in a completely different plane of existence. He's in his head. He's seeing th- other things, and he has to fight to keep him alive. Which one is this? Three. Oh, nice. Yeah, meanwhile, you as yeah. Isaac see me just, like, losing my shit in the middle of like the room and you have to try to defend me and yourself as necromorphs are coming at us oh wow wait so um so how much of the game is co-op you the whole thing can be co-op what and the sad part is though i like to play it on impossible mode but it's easy the whole way through (laughs) yeah because you've like beat it a thousand times well, no, like, I started fresh with nothing, no upgrades, no ammo, nothing from scratch on alt- on Impossible, and it's just, it's really easy. The difficulties are not I that. T- I usually play games on hard mode, but I don't even know the mechanics of this game. It's gonna be ridiculous. You only need one weapon. And you can build your weapon, and you can even give your friends blueprints and stuff on how to build the weapon. Um, and so you only carry two weapons throughout the whole game. Um, in previous Dead Space, it's four weapons, right? But each weapon has two, is basically a two in one, what? so it has two ways of firing. Dude, I need to get on freaking, sorry to interrupt, but I need to get on EA Play because it has like a bunch of games that I play on it for freaking 30 bucks a year. Continue. Uh, no, you're fine. Um, so the only weapon you really need is Boom Boom. I named it Boom Boom. Um, it's a rocket launcher <laughs> and a force gun. <laughs> I named oh it Boom my Boom. god! But look, a... Go this on. is insane because the game is twenty bucks, right? But if I pay ten dollars more, I can get. Do you know? Do you have EA EA Play? I hate EA by the way, but I I like a lot of their games. I personally myself would not get EA Play. They don't have enough games that I'm excited to play. And then any game that I really, really, truly want, I either get it through Steam or I've already owned it before EA Play was a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just has some ridiculous things that I'm like, oh, shit. Like, okay, so it has... I have... I used to play on PS4. I have BF4, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, Hardline, 5, uh, 2042. I bought it like an idiot with the like the ultimate edition or whatever with the you know dlc and everything and i'm like dude i don't want to get all these games again on on pc and then it has fifa 22 i play that and like i don't know yeah inquisition i have the mindset that if i really really like the game i'm gonna buy it again just because i don't want to be in a situation where like if i don't keep paying money that I would then have to actually like, I would lose my access to the game. I feel because like seems- I feel like mm-hmm. right now, like instead of buying uh, twenty four eighty two for sixty bucks, I think for one year it makes sense for me right now to just rent basically rent all those games for thirty bucks, and have it for twelve months, and then eventually like buy those games like one by one. I don't know. Like my buddy said, twenty four eighty two looks better with the newest update, uh, and. And it just I looks, think of, looks terrible. I think of it in, I think of it in terms of investments in the long run. Renting is going to cost you more because you still don't own it. I know and that's what I'm saying. Still, one year only. I'll do it one year, and then I'll freaking even might even buy these games during the year and just be done with that. It's thirty bucks. It's, it's cheaper than the sixty plus the twenty. Uh, like you know, like the game right now. What's it called? Death Space Three. I mean, thirty bucks sounds good if you're not ever really interested in buying the game. Like, you really just kind of want to go through it a couple of times and call it a day. But if you actually really enjoy it and you believe in replay value of that game, then I would just outright buy it. Yeah. Show. Oh, you're saying for Dead Space? Yeah. But no, I just, just saw like game. I want. I was on. Yeah. Well, there's too many though. <laughs> like, I want Battlefield Four, and I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind having five at the very least. Like, I would. I would. I could give up one and hardline. I think it's you know. time. I think it's time to start uh, selling your soul for video games. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper. 
Dude, I have so many, you don't understand. Like, you have no idea. I have so many games, and I have it on so many, like, different consoles and whatnot. It's, like, ridiculous. I, I started just accumulating everything on PC. But, like, right now where I'm sitting, it's it sounds, like, wonderful to just have access to, like, eight or nine games that I want for just this one time, 30 bucks. Because I know I'm not going to renew it. I'm going to buy these games. I just know that. Most of them. <clears throat> but, yeah. If you want to talk about having hella games, let me, uh... Maybe I'm flexing on someone who has way more than me. I don't know. I spoke I spoke too soon. Tell me. Uh, I'm, I'm sending them to you one by one, because uh, otherwise I'd have to pay for Nitro, and I don't feel like paying for Nitro. That's not all of them. There's more. Oh, well, I'm gonna zoom. Zoom on the bad boys. What you got? Oh, I can't read really. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to zoom in on them. Hold on. I have a photo Ooh, of some. You, you like Metal Gear? Yeah. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. I got the art books. Wow. Yeah. Oh, earlier I asked, and I think you had an answer. I didn't catch Resident Evil. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh Dark Souls. <laughs> I see. I see. Nice, nice. I'm not. A lot of these games, I like, like the From Software ones, or. <clears throat> like this I just watched my brother it. play. I didn't. The only ones I've played is, are a little bit of, Bloodborne and Sekiro and Elden Ring. Um, I've already platinum Bloodborne, so if you need help with that, I got you. Jesus, dude, you're more of a gamer that's... than me, I guess, or better. Jesus. That's not everything. I've accumulated more since. <laughs> oh, it was another one. That was before I started putting them away. That was just me taking them all out, and that was before I got more collector's editions. Destiny is fun as well. I think Destiny is free, right? I can just freaking download that. Yeah. We can play. Expansions are going to cost you, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's what I got off. I used to... I had Destiny, like, original one. Destiny 1 with uh, the the DLCs, which came to, like, mm -hmm. 100 bucks, I think. And then after okay. year one, at the end of year one, at the beginning of year two, they didn't even allow you to go to Crucible if you didn't have year two or whatever, like, re like purchased 40 bucks and i was like uh what because there were some maps that were a uh, part of the new expansion yeah but it was like so ex you know what's yeah exclusive or right like it's just it it it, it 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 denied everyone that didn't purchase the new dlcs basically Yeah, I was butthurt. I didn't. I didn't play until Destiny Two became free again, or free. I hop, up, hop, hop, hop back on and played. Uh, My only downside with Destiny Two is, and I understand it's for oh, the shit. console players, um, since uh, what is it? Uh, Crossplay is a thing now, but console players couldn't hold uh, all that stuff on their system just because of how much, uh, how big the game would be. Uh, it would be just far too massive for a console, so they had to close off some areas, some maps and whatnot. So imagine like paying all that money for maps and whatnot and then not being able to access them because they're no longer part of the game, or at least they've been vaulted. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yup. If you want to try Dead Space 3, go ahead. I will absolutely walk you through it because I've also 100%ed that. <laughs> I'm thinking about streaming it. That would be fun because I like um, horror games. That's Especially perfect. Like, I yeah. need a, I mean, I need a friend. Awesome. Yay. Uh, all right. I, I looked at these pictures. They're very impressive. That's not everything. What? <laughs> oh shit, no. Uh, 
Um, give me one second. Speaking of dead space, um, Yes. I I sent you a theme. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. oh. Do you like the Tell me, tell me about your experience with Metal Gear. Uh, it's a great fucking game. I actually, even, um, so. Like how you came even, out, like, like what was your first experience, like, with the or first experience ever with Metal Gear? How did you, like, come about learning about it and all that stuff? I think I was introduced to Metal Gear through the art style of Yoji Shinkawa. And for me, I Who was... Who the heck is that? That's the artist. For the game. Oh, what? Did you hear me say the art of Yoji Shinkawa? Yeah, you said it earlier. Yeah, but... that's the artist for the game. He's got really good friends <laughs> with Kojima. They've been working together for so long. He uh, went with him to his new company. Uh, I ended up getting introduced to his art style, and then I found out about the game. I was really into it. Um, which is weird because I was never really into military s games or espionage games, mm -hmm. but I really got into it and I started with Metal Gear. Two. Sons of Liberty. Yes. Hell yeah. And that's a great uh, game. Off... That was my introduction. Uh, took off from there, and I, at one point, uh, ended up. So my mom, at one point was like, I'm going to put this ugly lampshade in your uh, in your bedroom because it goes with your room because everything is wood and brown. I'm like, yeah, but I have like video game shit everywhere. It's not going to match. She's like, no, it will because everything is brown. And I was like, mm, no. So I was working at GameStop at the time and we had a uh, collector's edition of Rising with the uh, lamp that has Ryden's blade in it. Mm -hmm. I bought it to save my room from that ugly lampshade, and I actually ended up really enjoying the game and the soundtrack. Metal Gear Rising? Or Revengeance? Yeah. Metal Gear... Yeah, what Rising. is it called? Metal it's Gear... Rising or... Rising Revengeance. So. Yeah, something like that. I absolutely love the characters. I love the Metal Gear sense of humor. Even though it didn't really have... Um, much of much at all to do with Kojima. It was still pretty solid because I think he supervised on that one. Unlike I uh, don't was... actually. Yeah, uh, I think people what that don't like that game. Of a metal... Huh? What was that disgrace of a Metal Gear that they tried to make after they got rid of Kojima? Oh, uh, survive trash. Yes. Yeah, dude. No, but people that that don't like Revengeance. And I've heard, like, arguments like, oh, yeah, like, that would never exist in... I actually heard someone say that would never exist in Metal Gear Universe. And I'm like, what are you talking... What? what? Like, um, what's the ninja from the first one? I'm not really good with names. Uh, Gray right. Fox, right? Oh, Gray Fox, yes. Isn't he... That's exact. You get to play... You, you, actually, if you beat that game, you can get the Gray Fox skin. And you can play yeah. as him. So, of course that exists in Metal Gear. Like, that is exactly what Metal Gear World is. It's ridiculous. And he's a cyborg ninja. So, chill out. Well, if you played 4, right? You got to see Raiden's, like, extra ass introduction. Like, at that point, if you decided to exaggerate it a little further, it's not a stretch to believe that that could happen within the Rising, uh, or within the Metal Gear universe, because... We already got to see Raiden's intro after he became a cyborg. In the in Sons of Liberty? No, in four. I don't remember. In four I wanna play four because that's one of the ones I haven't played recently. And three. Uh, Snake four Eater. was the first one that released on PS. 
three. Yeah, I played it. I played it a couple of times, but yeah. the last time I played like, it, like Snake was an old guy. He was yeah. dying. Uh, what's his face? Kept drinking like I don't know soda and burping with a monkey. Yeah, there's that dude with yeah yeah, yeah your vendor, the dude with the blonde hair, black dude with the blonde hair and, and then, shades, nice shades. And then you met Sunny and um, Hal. I think dies. I don't remember if Hal dies. I think Hal dies. He had a crush on what's her face. She ended up liking Vamp. Vamp finally dies. Um, I think she, and then you have like the Beauty and the Beast. You had Laughing Octopus, Raging Raven, um, Crying Wolf, and then what was it? something. She was based off of Psycho Mantis. I can't remember her name. What's a fucking fun adventure? <laughs> what? What are like we talking a, about? The IRL? Thing. Yeah, Hello? Are you talking to me or stream? No, you, 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 you. Uh, no, I said it was a fun adventure. Like, oh, it was. was I thought you said, what's a fun adventure? That's why I laughed. I'm like, what? That is random. No, no, no. Sorry. No, the fourth game was a fun adventure. Yeah, fourth game is cool, especially the fight at the end. I remember that with between him and Ocelot. The part that killed me the most was watching him like struggle to get through like the heated vent area. <laughs> it's just like, am I gonna make it? I don't even remember that. I remember, I remember how the fighting was way easier and nicer. You know, like aiming and shooting was nice. Like, at the end, you have to, like, I think, like, put in a chip or insert something to stop the machine. Or I, I honestly, like, I'm probably even, like, getting it wrong. But I do remember going through what felt like a microwave. Because it was, like, a server room. But there was, like, a vent within there that you had to go through. And it was, like, really, really hot. And Snake was just, like, taking damage the whole way through. And I just, I felt like I was just going to die before I made it to the end. It was, it was <laughs> scripted, but... It felt like being in a, um, under a heat lamp or like in a rotisserie oven. And I just, ugh. I think that's the part that stuck out the most to me was just feeling like I was in a rotisserie oven. That's, I don't even remember that, honestly. I remember just, I remember like the, you know, the mini uh, Metal Gears and like how the soldiers were like even more advanced. They had chips and stuff. And, um, like... Yeah, I like Snake being old. What else? Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Alright, let's see. Dude, I don't even have... Well... I know what to do. Uh, one terabyte. Easy PC. Lemon squeeze. It was the microwave corridor. There we go. That's what it was. It was the microwave corridor room. Hmm. When I'm looking up the screenshots, all I see are snake's ass. <laughs> it's just like crawling through the through the corridor, and I'm just like, I feel this. But like being in Texas, it it's like this is just another day. Oh man. The distance between the car and like any building can be I don't know. I don't even want to turn off my key before I leave the car. I'm just like I don't want the AC to ever stop. Yeah. I think there was like a little tiny spider in my car and it was hitting it was it reached the steering wheel and the part that was getting hit by the sun and it kept jumping up like really high like <laughs> didn't know what to do now it now it knows what my hand feels like yeah i had to like just throw them out the window
I wonder how they get in the car though. What the hell? Why is there a spider? They're in the car? small and they can fit anywhere. So, have you ever played any MOBAs? Um, maybe. Can't really think of it though. Be interesting if you if you if you enjoyed like this game that I was gonna stream. <laughs> oh, Smite? I'm not a fan of Smite, no. You already know about it? Oh yeah, I bought it. I, I have enough friends that have been like, hey, you should try Smite, and I'm like, last time, you know, had you try a game, I wasn't really into it. Oh, so you didn't try it? You just don't? Uh, no, they had me, so, um, I've had friends ask me to try Smite for a while, and I insisted that I was just not interested based off the gameplay. Mm. And then they convinced me to try Lost Ark, and I quickly lost interest in that. Mm. Um, so I was like, it looked a little more interesting to me than Smite, but even then I was, like, not feeling it. Mm. Yeah. Not I'll my cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today I learned that um, MOBAs basically come from uh, World of Warcraft. Or not World, but just Warcraft, right? Not World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. And it was like Dota. Dota is like... Battle. Yeah. Dota was a mod yeah. on Warcraft and... And League of Legends comes and, like, copies that, basically, and makes it free. And that started everything. I got introduced... I, this was just, like, a free game. I always tried free games. I, I don't know. Have you ever played Warframe? I gave that a try. That was a cool game, too. I did. I was not feeling it. The controls were really wonky for me. Um, I started off on, I think it was, like, the PS4. Mm. It was when I first played Warframe. Tried it out, did not feel it. Tried it out on PC, did not feel it. Tried it out on Switch, did not feel it. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I don't think there was a platform that I enjoyed it on. It just... I gave it a chance, honestly, on PC, but I quickly lost some throws. I know it's... Um, a lot of people compare it to Destiny, even though it's... Oh, I was just going to say, just... yeah, you already played Destiny, so... I've never had someone that plays Destiny and, like, plays Warframe 2, because then I think the aesthetic, like, the, everything is nicer looking on Destiny. You wouldn't go... And the controls, and the vehicles. There's a lot of good things in Destiny. Well, Destiny is... Um, it was, like, made by Bungie, so that's... We're considering mm -hmm. that versus Warframe. Yeah. Warframe has its own charm, and there's, like, a lot of weird things in it that I love, too. But anyway, so Smite... See, most... Go ahead. I was going to say, most of my Destiny clan, they play Warframe, too, and they really enjoy it. Mm. But I just never really got into it. What? There's weird stuff. Like, I don't know, maybe, like... One thing I can tell you that when you get... When you start playing a game that other people already know... I mean, you're a gamer, so maybe you can agree with this. Um, yeah, it's just, like, I, I, I found that if I play a game on my own, I'll, I'll, I'll have a, I'll be introduced to the mechanics and everything else, I would say, like, just the experience as a whole by myself a little better. And the, when people know, like, you, if it's, like, competitive or... Even co-op, even co-op, dude. Even if it's story mode and co-op, and they have like all the gear, you know, it's just gonna be an insane. It's like playing Borderlands with someone who's who has all the best stuff. Well, also like, so one of the reasons why I enjoy playing games by myself is it gives me the freedom to try things out, see what works for me, see what doesn't, and like, yeah, you can tell me like, hey, this isn't great, like, don't do this, do this instead. But I'm one of those people that, like, learns on my own through fucking up and just, you know, getting my hands dirty. But I also, like, because my friends are my friends, they're gonna always, like, pick on me and judge me whenever I fuck up. But it's like, sometimes I just don't want the judgment. Like, let me 
do stupid shit on my own, mm -hmm. judgment free, because I'll genuinely enjoy it. But there's also like this sense of reward from like say getting through an area that you're act like you accidentally wander into a high level area and you're like shit I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, there is a sense of accomplishment when you manage to get through yourself after like the fortieth try. So are you like it, really good at introducing uh -huh. games or songs or movies and stuff to people? Not really. I'm just like, hey, you like this shit? I'm like, hey, you like this, then, the third? Here's something that kind of has this. Um, try it out and get back to me on it. Uh, okay. But, um, no, there's just something more rewarding about, like, trying something out and, like, messing up on my own and then getting it on my own without help. But it also makes it, like, more memorable because I'm going to remember this hard-ass area that took me, like, several tries to get through versus you rushing me through things, me not paying attention to what the game is instructing me to say because you're like, skip the cutscenes, skip the dialogue. Like, no, bitch, oh, I paid for I this game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, 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 I, like, like... I paid for this. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to hear it. I'm not playing this for you. I'm not doing this for you. It's just nice to have you along, but don't rush me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I feel with uh, SO. Um, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Like, yeah. my buddy wants to just make a character, and he's like, nah, he's just like level up to 12. And there's like 50 quests, <laughs> you know? And I've never played the game. And he's like trying to like rush everything, and if we get to anyone, he just annihilates them. Sometimes I don't know if he knows See, how to play the game. That's how I feel about um, what is it, Final Fantasy fourteen? Like my buddies have been getting on me, like try it out, try it out, try it out, and I'm like, no, because you're literally telling me rush to level whatever and then join us for raids, and it's like I fucking love raids, but I also want to feel like I earned the right to raid by like understanding the mechanics of this game how to play my build and then how to you know like i want to understand what the hell the story is especially if i'm paying like 15 something a month like i want to know what, what it what? is final fantasy 14 you have to pay monthly yeah that's why i don't um i don't do pay to play games, but um, I've been, like I've always been a huge fan of Final Fantasy, and everyone from my guildmates to my best friend have been getting on my ass about trying it, and I finally was like, let me give it a try, and like I liked my character. I made a uh, I made a little Lollafell, and then I tried to make her a tank, and everyone called her Potato, so she became like the Tank Tato. But I could not thoroughly enjoy it because everyone's like, hurry up, get to this level so we can do these activities. And I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is happening story-wise because if I'm paying anything for a game, I'm going to take my time and absorb the information is, that's given. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, the one that you have the flying car? Uh, yeah. And then you can... Well, it's also... You get a different well, car or whatever when you beat the game. Well, so no, not exactly. So for so fifteen is the one with the flying car, oh, but okay. um, that car was featured in fourteen. Like it was up for grabs during a specific event. So that is one of your mounts, yes. But it's only like a it was like a limited edition thing. Mm, okay. Yeah. So if you're talking about the flying car being your main transportation, no, that was fifteen. That was like okay. Charlie's Angels Guys Edition. But um, that car was featured in 14, yes. Um, I opted for a flying fat cat. Um, that was my thing. So, let me ask you this. Are you down to play some Dead Space 3? Uh, I'm downloading it right now. <laughs> Same. It's going to take, like, two hours. Cause... What? What? I don't know. So I'm using a direct connection, but uh, this past week, my internet has been garbage, and 
I don't know why. Hmm. So it's saying about two hours to download. It's like fourteen percent. Hmm. Okay. So my apologies. It, it it'll be a hot minute. Uh, how far along are you in your download? I'm at um. It's like gonna be down in like five minutes probably. I hate you. <laughs> you could. Um. You could like. Let's see. Edit download rate. Let me see if I can do anything about that. You could, like, restart your modem or something like that. You know, reset that. That's what I did before. I, I was streaming. I stopped the stream, and I did that. And then I started streaming again and, and already had better connection. I cycle through the servers, too, when I connect. I try to reconnect to different servers and test the, test the speed till I find a good one with upload speed. Because if you don't find a good upload speed, streams are not going to look good. Not at all. Yeah, I love I love Resident Evil type games. So. If you enjoy Resident Evil, did you ever get into the Evil Within? I do have Evil Within one and two, and I played some of. So so I. I've been wanting to like stream and make videos for a long time. And I just uh -huh. ever since I started doing it, I. I just came to the conclusion over and over again that I'm going to have to do it on PC, so I'm going to play it. I'm going to stream it. <clears throat> it's one of the games. But I've watched my bro bro brother play it, too, so I already know pretty much a good amount of detail about the first one. It, it screams like Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Um, so if I can... Um... More serious, though, in a, in a, in a world. More graphic, yeah. or I don't know. I don't know how to describe it exactly right now. Go ahead. Uh, so the difference between like Resident, uh, not Resident Evil, uh, Evil Within One and Two is one is a lot more linear, um, but you don't really feel it. Uh, both are very heavily story based. Um, two lets you go around and explore and do different side quests and stuff. Uh, one is here's the path. Um, you can kind of like look around the corner, but that's really it as far as. Um, having uh the freedom to run around uh you can't really go back and visit areas because a lot of it is psychological so as you're playing the game shifts and now you find yourself in this new area because like you fell through the floor and hit a wall and now your perspective is completely shift shifted um but due to how much the story kind of like your level designs change and stuff it feels like it's a whole different adventure where you get to go out and about and it it, it feels not as linear due to how much change takes place in your environment whereas um two is kind of more of a hey let's go through this portal we'll end up here and then we'll have to backtrack all the way over here there's a lot less backtracking in the original, but both mm. are great in their own ways. I just, the, like, every time, so I, I don't like watching trailers. I just watch gameplay, and I, I never watch anything on movies. <laughs> That's what I, I don't really want to watch trailers. But yeah, so I was watching the beginning of um, Evil Within, like the whole car scene, and then they get to the I don't think it's at a hospital or something, but it's like, looks like somewhere in Prague. Uh, that's what I remember at least. I just I thought it was. Mhm. Mm I thought it was cinematic. Yeah, you're at a mental hospital. Okay. Just thought it was cinematic and it was just well done. You know, it looked like something. I, I, I compare everything to Metal Gear, basically, not consciously. Too. I'm just I just see Metal Gear. That was like my first love. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid was my first love. First, first, like I bought a PlayStation just to play that game. Me and my brother played it at our, our neighbor's house, and we were like, "What the fuck? Why this thing exists? We have to have it." And we saved money, saved our allowance for like months, and bought a PlayStation and played. 
But yeah, what game were we talking about? God, I just got into a... I went down the Metal Gear rabbit hole in my mind. <laughs> Evil Within 1. Right, Evil Funny Within 1, Funny enough, yeah. you say that, I literally went and bought a whole PS5 just for Demon Souls remake. Wow, that's good. Yeah, I do want to play that. Yep. Alright, so, Death Space 3 is downloaded. I didn't really stream Smite, I'm not gonna do it, so might as well start a Dead Space 3 stream and you can kind of like guide me till yours is ready? How does that sound? Uh, are you... No, I want to say no, because it's like really, like, it, you have to try it from the beginning with like someone else. Mm. Uh, are you streaming like right now? Yeah. Oh yeah, you are. I say keep playing Smite, give me a minute. Uh, let me hop out and reset my internet connection and then come back. Sure. I'll start again. All right. It won't tell me when you're I'll back, so yell at me. All right. But, uh, oh, Death actually, no, it's up there. Play. It's showing up up there. We're good. All right. Cool. See ya. Do I, do I have you on I have you on Steam or no? Uh, no, but well, actually, yeah, let's do it now. So I don't have to do it later. Well, I can do it right here, actually. It's not that hard. What's your name up there? Should I do the it on the stream? Or... Uh, I, I wouldn't. Yeah. Well, it's, it's up to you. Here, I'll do it privately here. <laughs> Steam. Yeah, if it wasn't for... Oh, so you have a PS5, eh? Uh, how did you get it? Uh, I worked at GameStop. Wow. That's cool. And Wait. then shortly afterwards, I left GameStop. Really? Yeah. Did you send me it? Because I can send you mine. Oh, uh, just search my name in Discord. It's the same thing everywhere. What does it mean? It's the middle name for a character I came up with. Yeah, what kind of a character? Um, yeah. A friends at the friend. Cool, I see you. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, we got that friend request. Time to reject it. Huh. <laughs> oh. You drew that? Yeah. Dude, add your art to... I I can draw too, but I've been wanting to... I feel like I should just do, like, streams of random stuff that I do too. Like, when I edit videos, uh, when I'm, like, designing sh stuff and, like, drawing. I I've been meaning to make Smite art. Because Smite has, like... The reason I really like that game is because of the pantheons, all the different gods, and you get to play as them. It's just so fascinating to me, that part of it. Anyway, but yeah, this is amazing. What? Thanks. This was the last... Uh, that was my first digital art piece. Um, oh, is it digital? This is my last one that I just sent you. Oh, you sent me another one? Oh, it's right here. Oh. What is this? <laughs> kind of rug is that? Uh, it's a Persian rug. What? That's cool. Thanks. Right here. Okay, uh, let me hop off and go see what's going on with my internet connection and uh, come back. Show, for show, for show. All right, see ya. Right. I'll be back. Yes, ma'am. We shall do a smite game. After all, 
but I'm excited. I want to play something scary. Death Base sound nice. Death Space 3. Ooh, no one's gonna like that. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. I like this. Oh, what the hell? What the? Oh, I'm just trying to turn the volume up, ass, ass face. So on Snapchat, when you hit the volume button, it just uh, takes a photo when you're on the camera. This more gang, the fang. Who shall I be? A warrior. A warrior, you say? Come All on. right, vomit. What you guys think? Boosters. I don't know how I capitalized the Z, but whatever. <laughs> boosters, please? Come on, guys. I don't have any boosters, man. Freaking voice back. Here, you guys got a voice back. That's <laughs> all I have. I'm kind of sad. I, I think I already have Vamin's voice pack. It's a bombing? Oh shit. Uh, did he get potions? This is a big problem. But I'm gonna try to spank them a couple times and then go back real quick. They don't have to know I don't have anything. This can be a little secret. Just like that.
Call me a friend. He didn't pick up the blue. Okay. Sorry. I need some mana. It's the only problem I have right now. Oh, I'm gonna get potions. Be right back. Out of mana. The wave. Hello? Anyone? Yes, Bye. You need to go behind him and push him towards his dog. Some. Or something, dog. I just want to make a point. That guy was a bomb. No, sir. I don't want that. Let's go back. Now we're talking. But silence is a last resort. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. She's smart though. I'm not too worried because we already have a. Uh... Yo, more gank. Oh, he's back already. She's smart for going after this tower. I agree with that one. Made sense in my head. I was with it. Yo, bro, you should heal your teammate, you stupid idiot. Ah, he 
popped Spiri. He popped it. He did the thing of Mitchie that he shouldn't have done. He did that thing. Bro, you really want this? Oh no, 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 no. I'm sure you Oh shit. Oh man. I was about to say I spoke too soon. Two for one. Forgive me, Master. I must go all out. Let me get this and dominate. Let's see if this fits. It's over for them. Let me get uh frostbound hammer. Something like that. Good job, dude. Give you master. Amazing. I must go You're amazing. Start getting kills too, or yeah, that flashbang is pretty good. But I, you know what? I don't know even work because I don't even have frostbound. The thing is, the second I get frostbound, like the second I do frostbound, dog. What you gonna do, dog? Smoke, bro. Don't be fucking chilling here, dude. You idiot. <laughs> like, <laughs> how do you laugh? Like, may the star cross you. That's my boy right there. He can frag anyone. Won't somebody <laughs> please think of the children? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when teams don't group up, you know, and they don't help each other. Come on, man. Watch out down. Watch out down, man. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Yo. Good job, good job. Y'all are good. More gang was not really good, but Cryptus was good enough, so. Very nice. Roman God. I still haven't jumped. Jesus, I should just start a game. Like, just play a game and jump. Just do that, get that out of the way. 
right, that was pretty good. Both games I played today. The Salt game I played earlier, and, and we won. I played as Atlas, but the connection wasn't good. Um, and I was, like, ranting in the beginning of that video. So, I was like, I'm going to private this hoe. Keep it. Keep it for lights, for funsies, maybe. Maybe I'll delete it. I don't know. I want to watch it. Maybe I'll just leave out the assault part. I wish you could combine videos as well. Man, this was a really short game, ain't it? Let's see. I want to see the quality of the game. Is I rewind it a little bit? Or, or rewound? How do you say that? And it went straight to the straight to before the game. Looks weird, man. What the hell? Yeah. It's like a play slash. But I do want to um, grab a protein bar, uh, a granola bar, whatever you want to call it, and uh, a drink. That's what I want to do. I'm going to do a slash. And if, uh... I don't know how to say her name yet. i got to ask her when she gets on. If Homegirl gets on, I'm very excited to play Dead Space 3. If not, I'll, uh... I think I'm eventually going to freaking play <laughs> Blood Hunt. Because I've been kind of... Like, every time I, I stream, I'm like, Yeah, I'm going to play a little bit, and then I'm going to play Blood Hunt. Because of the new, you know, patch. It's not really an update update, it's just a new patch. Made some adjustments and whatnot. I think the enforcers went from four seconds of uh, immunity to three or something like that, so. so it's gonna be a lot nicer going against them. Reset dash. Uh, Oh, hold on. Alright, I'll go grab a... Grab and stuff. Grab back. Yeah, one more game and then... Blood Hunt. Oh, and if... Well, maybe she will be ready by then. We'll see. We'll see how the night goes. Get a few options. Get a, I can play this. Well, no. Yeah, Blood Hunt after this. Or... Death Base if she gets on. Um, I'm sure other people might get on. Zhao is probably on a date or something. Wait, no, no, no. He, he's just waking up late today. Never mind, I got it. I got it. I got it opposite. Get yeah, backwards. Uh, Chris might get on. Julio, Isle of Seals. If I tell him, get it on Rainbow, he's gonna get on. Probably. So, I'm excited. We'll see. I'll be right back.
Why can't I get freaking 150 <clears throat> uh, frames per, per second in game? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ooh, I have Let's
see what these teammates are about. Let's start with what they're going to pick, how long it's going to take them to pick what they want, whether they're going to lock what they pick. We're going to wait and see how everybody else reacts. Nobody's picked anything. Phil. Medusa. I like a Medusa. Two guardians. Okay. So far, so good. Nobody has locked their character. Locked in, that is, by the way. Three people have picked. One is offering an olive branch. Extend an olive branch. Hey, I feel, I feel. Come on, Winfrey. Literally the first person I was looking at when I got into the, <laughs> the lobby, I was like, Winfrey, what up, dog? And he's going to go like Cupid or like some hunter. Okay, best. Friend. It's not too bad. Excuse me, hopefully I can steal a bunch of her kills. But in reality, she's gonna steal all mine. Oh, the game started? Uh oh. Sorry, I was at the gym. Downloading, but now it's doing the uh, the DLC. I switch. Oh, I don't have so the DLCs. I... <coughs> uh, Do I have? You know, but, you don't have to worry about it. Like the DLC is gonna like we're not gonna get to it. It's quite nice. But um, 
No, so like I, so I, I don't know what's going on this week. My Wi-Fi or my internet has been shitty and kind of funky and slow. So I have both Wi-Fi and the connection on my computer, and I'm still not getting any better. Like my Wi-Fi is not getting any better. Like I'm not getting any better. Like I'm not getting any better. I had it on a direct connection. I unplugged everything, let it sit for like a minute, and then I plugged it back in. And it was still really slow, so I switched to Wi Fi, and it's just like sitting in 12 minutes. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Why? It's probably prioritizing it. <laughs> well, nothing's going on with my computer. No, somehow, like, maybe you've That's my boy right chosen Wi Fi boost anyone. or something. No, because the Wi-Fi is worse. Like, I have a lo I have a shittier Wi-Fi connection, or uh, I have like, fewer bars than I do with a direct connection. Mm -hmm. But it downloads it. It downloads faster on a crappy Wi-Fi connection. That is odd. My computer's a weirdo like me. Wherever you are. But hey, it's done. It's ready to go. I'm so down to play. I'm in a game though. I just started another one. I won that first game so fast. And I just waited around. That guy? You're perfectly fine. I'm gonna disconnect from the call that I switch, switch over back to my, uh, my landline. Oh shit. No. I'll be back. I'll get you. Dude, fuck off. Jesus Christ. Called it. I'm gonna hope to kill Bestit or steal Bestit's kills, but in reality, she's gonna steal mine. So how long is this game? Juan Felipe M M Morion. Who's that? Juan. What's good, my boy? Okay. Yeah, someone's in the chat. Thanks for stopping by. Are you uh, you gonna start getting kills too, or? Usually I get like traffic when I'm playing late. What up? And Blood Hunts, I get a lot of views too. That's why I'm like, oh, I want to play, but nobody wants to play with me. That's not true, everybody wants to play. Just the past few days, ever since the patch notes released, I haven't had the chance. What's up, Juan? Where are you gonna play tonight? Are you gonna play at all? What games are you excited about? I was asking a friend today, what was the last game that you really enjoyed? I'll ask you the same thing. And by the way, how do you, what do you like? What do I call you? I'm talking, talking to you. I'm talking to you now. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's just like yeah. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder if I can like. Press the buttons and like, talk to the chat. Oh shit, I messed up. And when I'm just addressing people that are in my party or, you know? Um, um, I think it'd be like push to talk, but that's a lot of. Pushing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have it so that when I hold alt, it mutes Discord. I like that. For the duration I hold it. 
So I could start doing that right when I'm like back. doing chat. Yeah. What am I doing? But yeah, so what do I call you? You can just call me guys. I'll make them feel guys. Pain. Mm hmm Okay. Like ice with a gu uh, at, at the That's my beginning. boy right there. He can frag like anyone. My, my guys lore. Just guys. Oh no! Oh, I messed Two. up. Yeah, bitch. Jeez. I'm competing hard with this assassin on our team. I'm a carry right now. Don't worry, champ. I'm sure you helped. I was about to be brutal. <laughs> I did a 360 on it. Something I would never do. I did it by accident. <laughs> it looked awesome. Yes. What are you playing right now, guys? Uh, I am waiting for you to finish your thing so we can hop into Dead Space. Nice. Okay. Oh, shit. Also, do you want me to just call you Kelly? Sure. Or I, I don't know what you prefer to call. Yeah, that's Poe's fine. Alright. Be right back. Edgar Allan Poe. Oh my, best dead. Oh my. Guy, we got him. We're gonna have to ult. Good job. Medusa's brutal. When you want to say you rock, she says I'll kill you last. <laughs> I'll, I'll toy with you. Are you familiar with Medusa? Like the character in um, Smite, or just the? No, I think the... I, yeah, the the character in Lore. In real. Oh, I want to yeah. say in real life, but it's funny to say that, you know? Like, in mythology, yes. yes. In Smite, no. <laughs> no, in mythology. It's, I mean, it's just a expression of it. But, like, she she turns people to stone, right? Yeah, yeah that's for all in the game. In the game. I don't know, I feel like I want to... I don't, I'm not trying to, like... I say recruit you into the game, but what really talk about it? Like talk about it. Like yeah. you can educate me about it. I'm just not interested in actually playing the game. Okay, great. Sorry. <laughs> no, that part of it is no, no, no. That's exactly what I wanted to communicate because I'm going to talk about it, and I'm not hoping to recruit. I was trying to convey that. Like. A lot of games, I'll, I'll always pay attention to. Oh shit. The lol. Um. Your juggernaut has been destroyed. Character dialogues in games. Like in. Have you ever played a. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege or seen it? I've seen it. Um, I never got into Rainbow. So you wouldn't know about, like, oh shit. You wouldn't know about the. Ooh, you I expected should, uh, them to follow me. Stop with that guy. That won't happen. 
They had the, the hack was released in the game it's called Rainbow Six Extraction. But that was a game mode. Um, that's like a. Yes. Someone on the other team got owned. I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think anyone's surprised. Have you ever played any games that have um, like special events and stuff to do special events? I guess if you play a raid, you're familiar with special events. Like they change the map somehow, and they'll put like modifiers, maybe even. So I've done, what is it, Destiny, Guild Wars, Fun and Fantasy, um, Forever Go, Maple Story, um, what other games have had of it? Um, Your left tower is under I have some games there. I can't think of what else has had in it. Uh, I did Lost Ark as well. Um, How was that game? Oh, I did Phasmophobia then. Um, My friend plays that. Uh, tries to get me to play. Do you want to do stupid shit without stupid shit consequences? Because Phasmo lets you go <laughs> into like, locations and just can't go into a fuck around with those. Oh, I'm with friends, but it's less fun when everyone uses you as bait. When you buy the stuff. I'll attack right now. I'll attack right now. You're juggernauts. You, uh, you're gonna start getting kills too? Yikes. I'll make them feel. Double the kills, double the bills. Speaking of killing sprees, We've got one coming up. Surprised. Your juggernaut now it's here. We're about to beat him, but it's gonna be a little fight. Do you watch? Um, uh, horror stuff or like? I don't know. Let me ask this: Have you seen like Mine Hunter? Yeah, that show. I do enjoy watching, um, like, ghost hunting, um, Ghost hunting, other. eh? You should, uh, you should it's, probably stop Like, so, do I believe it? <laughs> Not necessarily. Like, it's fun watching people get scared for nothing. I think it was do Bill Burr that, that was, like, making fun of it. He's like, what is it, like, 13 th seasons of people going, oh, what is it there? And, like, what was the sound? And then finding nothing, you know, <laughs> over and over again. Like, my guy, you're going into a dilapidated building. Like, something is gonna fall apart. <laughs> Makes sense. Now, do I believe in ghosts? That's I'm not right beyond there. believing that they could anyone. be real. I haven't had any encounters myself. 
And I I do enjoy sometimes like watching like this shit get caught on camera. Like on YouTube. But I myself have never had an encounter and I like to keep it that way. Mm. Actually, okay, so I did like the dumbest thing ever <laughs> once. And this is like, so when people say don't fuck with the keyboard, like, they've got a point. So, what happened? The enemy has been destroyed. What happened? Oh, what happened was, I was at, like, first, first year college? Yeah, first year college. I was at a friend's house, and her house was like fine, and like, nobody died in it. it was, we I'm tried to use the board. And so, you know how like the little Oculus thing or the little eye thing has um like legs that it stands that kind of like lift a little bit off the board and stuff? So we all had our finger on it, right? Nobody like had their finger underneath it. Uh -huh. And so it's like it pushed off of the board. And I took like one of my fingers off, because I had both hands, um, I took one of my fingers off to go lift it up, and nobody was touching it from underneath or pressing on it, and it lifted up on its own and readjusted onto the board, and I was like, we're never doing this again. Wow. You rock. Oh my god, I'm dead. So I fun. have never even... If it's fun and challenging. Yes. Oh, sorry, yeah, no, I've just never fucked with the Ouija board ever since. Wait, so can you repeat? Uh... My story? Yeah, not not the whole story, but. Oh, um. What led one of to the legs... you? Not, you decided not to use it again. Like, what was? Uh, we all had our finger on the little eye thing that moved around. Uh huh. And it has like little legs that kind of lifted off the board. So we all had our finger on the top. I went to, um, I took like, so I had both fingers on there, both index fingers. I took one off to go lift it up because one of the legs came off of the board as it was moving. And I felt the whole thing lift up and readjust itself without Someone anyone putting like pressure on it or anything. And I was just like, we're never fucking with the Ouija board ever again. I'll attack what's <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, please. Creepy, huh? Oh, can chat hear me? Um, I think so. <laughs> that was my only experience with the Ouija board. I have never done that. Oh, you bitch. Yeah, yeah. They're spamming like the voice chat in the game. We're still gonna get him. It's gonna be a fight. Win for you, one, two, three, four. Oh. 
Medusa has this like she's like half serpent in this game, so she has this like booty booty sway as she walks still. Super exaggerated, I guess, because of her long tail. Visually. Um, see the whole, like, ripple the whole body in it. What did you ask? There's, like, so much happening, I can't even hear you. Sorry, I said which platform I'm streaming to, so I... Oh, YouTube. YouTube. Okay. It's on the live streams or whatever I'll just tab. Call it. Yeah. Oh, buddy. I'm dead. Oh, yeah. my Think anyone's surprised? Get this Phoenix, it's over. for our stronger minions. Yes, yes. I will be right back. Alright. It's over. Your has arrived. I will still need time afterwards to create the stream. Find some pictures. Exciting. Attack left leg. I'll attack left Don't worry about it, dude. Like here, we don't even have to watch. We're gonna shred it. The enemy juggernaut. Ward right. Attack right leg. I'll attack left leg. Attack left leg. I'll attack left leg. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish the game then. Let's go. That's my boy right there. He can frag anyone. Oh, I saw the bitch. Don't worry, champ. I'm sure you helped. Salami. Let's go boys, come on. 
That's dumb. Come on. Come on. Oh man, I'm out of mana. That's not good. Oh, it's over. Yeah, that, I, I do so much damage. Good game. Sheesh. I don't even. Awesome. Good game. Nope. Nobody got a lot of kills. Nice actually. Job. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, Atlas shouldn't have gotten kills. Oh, whatever, you know, enemy here. I bet I, I did the most damage in the... Well, I didn't. <laughs> Quickly find out, Atlas actually did a lot of damage. Damn, Chong did a lot of damage. She healed 18,000? She healed me maybe once or twice. No way. Wow, what a game. I was basically holding my own. I could have been killed way more, I think. I actually made mistakes. Definitely made mistakes and I died to like, uh, I think Cthulhu a couple of times. Maybe Sun Wu. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, King Gotha. Sheesh. Wait, I said that. Sheesh. Really sad. All right, I'm gonna stop this stream. Um, anybody on? If you're interesting and in, interested in horror, you know, hit the bell button. I'm gonna stream another game right after this. All right.